Tonight's video is going to be about red leg disease. I will start this video off with a warning. There's going to be a link in the description that shows what a severe case of red leg looks like. If you are unable to tolerate graphic images of illness in animals, please do not click on the link. It is only provided for informational purposes. Hello, and thank you for joining us on another adventure in caring for African clawed frogs. Red leg is a bacterial infection that affects frogs, toads, and salamanders. Another name for red leg disease is pink belly. Some symptoms of the disease are pink or red skin spots on the pale areas of the body, lethargy, slimy pastiness occurring all over the body or mostly underneath, emaciation, prolapse of the stomach or cloacal tissue, ulcers on the skin located on the hips and hind legs, twitching or convulsions, and sudden death. Common bacteria that cause this disease is usually known as gram-negative bacteria that is usually rod-shaped. The most common bacterium is called Eremonis hydrophila, which may sound like a Harry Potter wand command, but sadly it's not. All this information is scary, I know. However, like many other bacterial diseases, this can be prevented. Keeping a stress-free environment for your frogs is key. Stress weakens the immune system and the many factors that contribute to this stress also create an environment for bacteria to thrive. To maintain a stress-free environment for your frogs, keeping your water in livable condition is the first step. Using water testing kits to know and understand your water's parameters can assist with maintaining livable water conditions. Clearing uneaten food, removing dead live foods and decaying plant matter can prevent spikes in ammonia and nitrite. Using treatments such as Amqual Plus can also assist in regulating the water. Other helpful items are Limnozyme to help combat red leg causing bacteria and other pathogens and Seachem Neutral Regulator to maintain a stable pH in the water. Fluctuating or abnormal pH numbers add to stress and other health problems. Water temperature is also important to prevent stress. For African clawed frogs, the water temperature should be in the range of 68 degrees to 73 degrees. Water should never be below 66 degrees or higher than 74 degrees. It is understandable that sometimes weather affects the temperature in our homes, which is why hobbyists should have a heater in their tank for the colder months and should place a Ziploc bag full of fresh treated water in the freezer to cool the tanks in the summer months. Do not overstock your tank if you don't have the time for frequent maintenance. Aside from stress, we must also watch what we're putting into our tanks. African clawed frogs do substantially better in species-only environments. When adding other livestock, the new livestock may introduce pathogens into the water, and this includes live foods. I enjoy the occasional feeder guppy for my frogs. However, feeder fish are usually maintained in very close quarters and stressful environments, which can bring some contagious bacteria to your frog's habitat. If you want to give live foods to your frogs, just be aware of your supplier and read the reviews. Feed live foods to your frogs with the understanding that like eating sushi, there is a risk of getting sick. Crickets are a great treat for your frogs as long as the legs are removed and they are fed one at a time. Another great live food is redworms. 
They are high in protein and you can even farm them yourself using a kitchen composter. When your frog has gotten over an illness and looks a little thin, add wax worms to their diet to fatten them up a little while still keeping a high protein worm in the mix. We all love our frogs and understand what is best for them. The goal is to keep them happy and healthy. I would like to thank Burly Lily and Zenopus Express for providing us with great and useful information for this video. Zenopus Express carries a great variety of essentials for African clawed frogs, including limnozyme, an effective preventative to red leg. I would also like to add that this video is not sponsored by Xenopus Express. However, they are one of the greatest carriers for my frogs and I thought I would share the information. Thank you for tuning in and learning about Red Leg with us. Sources where I found useful information are linked in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to click on the like button. You can also visit our Instagram page for cute pictures and our TikTok for shorter, fun, educational, and entertaining frog videos. View the video description to find the links to our pages. And as always, have a frogtastic day.